Okay, guys, we're just, uh, again, trying to get some of this stuff uh, figured out here. <clears throat> so, if you are watching, as I, as I talked to you earlier <clears throat> the other day, uh, we're going to be doing some uh, <clears throat> multiple sessions uh, for looking into the Gospels. Uh, Knowing who wrote the Gospels, who didn't write them, who knows if anybody, who knows it, who wrote them. <clears throat> but uh, that's that's the consensus, and a lot of people have no clue about that. Um, you're not going to hear it in a church. Um, if you go to college for seminary, uh, you may hear some of it. You may look at some of it. It may you may dig deep into some of it. <clears throat> My thought is that they're they're teaching uh, that you're just not going to be talking about those things because you know how the people, uh, just like government, uh, there you go, government, people that govern are going to tell you to tell those people <clears throat> or not expose things, not talk about certain things because first of all, they wouldn't understand. Their 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 not their aptitude is not they're not looking for, for reasoning. They they just want to feel like they're gonna be saved. And and your duty in, in the Lord and and, and, and your <clears throat> should I say, your Hippocratic oath as a uh, man of the cloth, as they might say, is that you need to kind of hide that stuff. Now, hide sounds like a very negative uh, uh, statement, but nevertheless, I mean, after all, we got to look at the greater good, right? Uh, we have to look at the people that need Jesus and we don't want them getting all confused and caught up because you know what that enemy that enemy is the one that will that will just start confusing them with with all those things if you're if you're honest with them or if you're open with them you know then then they're not going to be able to handle it and, and you're going to lose people these people otherwise could help grow the kingdom even if they themselves um, may not be interested in any more than just just some good company and some some good friendship and fellowship you know you know how it goes but this would further the kingdom of God but if you go and run them off by telling them too much you know it could be a problem you know so let's look at that and 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 that is what we need to do and when you give those bible studies you have to you have to kind of make them agree make them agree that the word of god is the full truth that how you use it you understand it you know the way that that they need to learn it because god told you and, and, and God told you, so you have a, have a responsibility not to bring confusion to them. So these things here, this is, this is some of the things that we must understand. We must know. We can't just leave it out in limbo. We can't just not worry about it. So what I just wanted to say is that... <clears throat> It appears, I just, I watched another video on history of, of the writings and where the word came from and things like that. Uh, yes, I'm searching, I'm seeking. I need to know that, that my soul is going to be saved and I done due diligence to see that it did, that it is, and it will be saved. I must work out my own salvation with fear and trembling. So in my search, I'm going to report, I'm going to 
to share what God shows me, God gives me, and I'm going to help you if I can along the way. And uh, this journey is, is, is too far too important to not give it credence that it so deserves, and we must be saved. <clears throat> so just, just so you know, this stuff has got to be thoroughly. We can't just take religion's word for it. We just can't take those that 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 have a have a dog in the fight, so to speak, their own gain, their own personal worldly gain. We can't just take their word for it. Their insatiable desire to rule over men and, and to, to be important, to, to be above others, we, we just can't afford to leave our salvation to them. So I, I, I just asked you to join with me in seeking salvation. Share what you come up with, seeking God with all your heart. He will be found. So anyhow, again, like I said, um, what I did learn on this one, and, and I, got, I still got some work and some uh, <clears throat> study um, to do, but it appears that this, this particular, they're saying that Paul's writings actually was before the gospel writings. Um, so when you look at that, you know, we had talked about people just going with the gospel of Paul, sprinkled in with Jesus. Now, the problem with, with what, if they were trying to say, you know, listen here, you're saying Jesus, leave out Paul. I'm not saying leave out Paul. I'm saying you have to question the fact that Paul was everything that he claimed to be, and then you have to question the fact that there was a religion began and started by Paul. These things Jesus did not teach. So when you when you look at those things, you can't. It is a direct conflict. It is a direct um, violation from what Jesus said. So this is very important very important to me that I have to find out. I have to know. And so when 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 I look and see that Paul's like, hey, obey them that has the rule over you. And I'm like, okay, but Jesus in three different places, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and in at least two different subjects stated that one was not going to be over the other. It is not going to be so in my kingdom, Jesus said. But yet you have Paul coming back and instituting a pharisaical church, a physical church, when Jesus said that this is going to be a spiritual church. You can find that at the woman, with the woman at the well. Jesus said the time will come and now is when the true worshipers will worship him in spirit and in truth. And you will no longer come to a place. You would no longer uh, <clears throat> have those, those, those locations, geographical or buildings to worship him in, but you will worship him in spirit and in truth. So let me just let you know and remind you that Jesus is still on the throne. And, and here's here's the crux, right? Here's the kicker. So if if the naysayers, if, if the retractors of what I'm talking about today, if those people have an issue with what I'm teaching, saying get closer to Jesus, listen to Jesus over Paul, and they say, well, Paul wrote before and maybe the gospel. Well, first of all, 
Paul sprinkles Jesus in, and I, I don't degrade Paul at all in the sense that, and I know it may sound like it, <clears throat> but I have to be sure. And when Paul speaks more of himself and puts Jesus in to get a story told, and, and this is what I'm concerned about that happened, okay? Um, and then he comes against what we have heard about Jesus, then we have an issue. We have a choice and a decision to make. So, um, again, even if Paul's writings was beforehand, when, when Matthew came out, um, and it doesn't mean that, that the knowledge was there of Paul before the knowledge of Jesus was. It's just the fact that the, the manuscript was written after. So that in itself doesn't, doesn't mean that the story of Paul came before the story of Jesus because it didn't, right? So this is the point that they can't say against what I'm saying without dropping Jesus. And if they drop Jesus, they must drop Paul because Paul, in his writings, gave it to Jesus, except it was in word. And it was in various ways, but he instituted opposites of certain things that Jesus said. So that's what I'm saying today. And uh, so anyhow, Thank you for listening and uh, reach out uh, if, you, if you have some ideas and thoughts and, and studies and things like that. I, I, I'm, that's where I'm at.